Well, the weekly broadcast of Music and the Spoken Word is celebrating a milestone this year. It's been 30 years since Lloyd Newell began hosting the program. News specialist Garna Mejia recently sat down with Lloyd to reflect on his memorable time of sharing inspirational messages with the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. For decades, great voices have echoed throughout the tabernacle. During the last 30 years and nearly 1,600 broadcasts, Lloyd Newell has been the singular voice accompanying the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. We welcome you to Music and the Spoken Word. Rejoicing during times of celebration. and providing comfort when we need it most. We shall emerge from all these trials and difficulties the better and purer for them. We recently spoke to Newell about reaching this milestone. I never imagined when I started this, as President Hinckley called me, that 30 years later we would be having this conversation. We joined him in an empty conference center, all part of pandemic adjustments, as he recorded a new batch of spoken words. I get letters from people from all over the world that this is their bright spot. Last year, music in the spoken word, normally broadcast live in front of an audience, was silenced by COVID-19 restrictions. And I just felt like we need to say something to the world that's in turmoil through this global pandemic. Stand by in five, four, three. You've heard it said that nothing is permanent except change. With a little creativity, he, along with a small production crew, came together to record new spoken word messages. The messages are inserted into previous broadcasts. We can't bring four or five hundred choir and orchestra members in, but I can come in with a, a crew and we can record new spoken words where we talk about the pandemic, where we talk about hope. As churches stood in isolation and congregations sat quietly, music and the spoken word continued reaching people across the world. This is their hope for the week, especially over the pandemic, where they've said, this has been my worship service. This has been my spiritual uplift. This has been my inspiration. We all seek a meaningful and worthwhile life. The non-denominational messages ascribe to universal themes of hope, peace, and connection. When President Hinckley called me, his counsel was, each message needs to be an inspirational gem. Those two words ring in my ears and in my heart regularly. And yes, you heard right. Newell's and the choir members' roles are callings for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This isn't their full-time job, and they aren't paid. That's something that always surprises people. Newell writes each unique spoken word. His inspiration comes from everyday life, through his family members, and even complete strangers. I can't tell you the letters of, from people I've received from around the world that have said, what is it about this program? What is this? It's more than just music. It's more than just a little message. It's the power, I believe, the power of godliness coming through music that touches people's hearts. It's a power he feels can withstand the test of time as a broadcast longevity the longest running in history can attest to. As he looks back on the last 30 years, Newell says he's grateful for the calling that helped to shape his life in ways that I can't even fully express or give utterance to. Still no word on when music in the spoken word will be able to fully reconvene. As for Newell's future with the choir, he shares with us that he will continue serving. I'm Garna Mejia, KSL 5.